Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go do something fun. What's, the, what's one of the most fun things that fish keepers do? They go buy stuff. <laughs> Come along with me. Let's go get some stuff. I can't have the radio on because YouTube will give me a copyright strike. And uh, that's not good if you're a YouTuber. <laughs> if you haven't already guessed, I'm headed towards uh, aquatic critters here in Nashville. I did a video on um, uh, on aquatic, aquatic critters. I'll put, a, I'll put a link up here. You can see it. It's a great local fish store. Uh, they had a lot of the fish that I ultimately wanted to have in my tanks, as well as a good selection of decor. And so uh, that's where I'm headed. So let's, uh, let's get there and uh, see what they got. Let's go inside and see what they got. This little leopard fish got to be one of the cutest, uh, one of the cutest fish I've seen. Probably gets enormous. Not sure if he would actually be compatible in what I'm trying to do with my tanks, but boy, he's cute. Wonder how big he gets. The electric blues were actually kind of stunning. I've been back and forth on whether I should get one of these. These are really pretty. This fish was uh, classified, reclassified, was current, was previously a geophagus, but really behaves and looks a lot like a geophagus and would fit what I'm looking for as with um, the next tank over this geophagus here. As they get older, they'll put on a lot more color. They'll have those flowing fins. Be a nice addition to that central South American tank I'm trying to put together. Very pretty fish. The red spotted uh, gold severums were very, very pretty. I was very impressed with those. And again, a fish that, that is gonna fit the um, the overall scheme and community I'm trying to create in that um, in the Central South American tank. The only African cichlid that held any interest for me was the redfin borlei. They had venusus and living stone eye and fish like that, but that's not quite what I'm going for in the AC tank. So Vaini, the the store. Uh, employee talked me out of this fish said he was way too aggressive had a great selection of rocks and decor Th these are some beautiful colors the kind of colors i'm looking for but the rock has too many sharp edges and i've had too many occurrences where fish have hurt themselves or scraped their eyes so i wanted something smoother this rock here seemed to be a good comp compromise it was smooth had some of the colors i'm looking for i think it looked good in the tank I also wanted to get some driftwood and get some plants and uh, super glue those on with some super glue gel. So I picked up some of these. Java fern and Anubias work really well when you're gluing, uh, gluing plants to decor. That was a lot of fun. Let's get these, uh, these fish and these ornaments back to the house and get them into the tanks. And uh, don't tell my wife how much I spent. up some uh, some nice fish several of them and uh, some, a couple real nice pieces of driftwood and some very nice rocks I think they're gonna look great what did I end up getting well uh, I'm gonna take them home and float them and then um, let them spend the night and chill out a little bit and then I'll show them to you in the next video I'll also show you how I'm gonna be attaching some plants to some driftwood and also um, how I'm going to be rockscaping, at least starting the rockscape on those tanks. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to tune in for the follow-up. And uh, I'll show you what I got and how I positioned it all in the tank. 
And I'm also gonna show you some filtration, some filtration that I've added to uh, both of the tanks. All right, thank you for tuning in, my friends. You are appreciated. Be sure to hit that, uh, that sub button and uh, the thumb, the rate the video and subscribe and all that good stuff. You are very appreciated, my friends. Bye-bye.